All right, right now we have a look at what our I team has been working on this week. After we told you last week about the man with an AR-15 showing up to a school bus stop in Severn, mm -hmm. community leaders responded by denouncing his actions. I team reporter Tali Taylor reported this first, and he joins us now with what he heard from the community leaders. And Tali, the word they kept repeating at yesterday's news conference was escalation. Hi, Mindy and Ashley. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, some were voicing concerns about how things would escalate between the man with the AR-15, Jaden McAdory, and parents at the bus stop. Ricky Jones of the Anne Arundel County NAACP was calling that situation a powder keg. Daryl Jones, an attorney, meanwhile, says McAdory's actions are those of a vigilante, and he says that could lead to dangerous places. Take a listen. That's what took the life of Ahmaud Arbery. That's what took the life of Trayvon Martin. And we're proud to stand here today to say no more, no more, no more. A member of the Maryland House of Delegates, Sandy Bartlett, says she's been talking to members in the General Assembly about this, and she says they're also concerned by McAdory's actions and what it means for public safety. Bartlett added this. I assure you that this matter will be um, one that we will look at uh, next session. Nobody wants to come home and have someone walking around in their neighborhood who is not law enforcement, who is not trained um, with a, uh, a long gun. So we have to look at the long guns again. Aaron Tully, you actually spoke with uh, McAdory after the news conference. What did he say? Yeah, that's right. Uh, he said he'd have to think about you know, what his reaction is to being called a vigilante. And he referenced what he's told me before, which is that uh, he won't be carrying his AR-15 uh, around children at a bus stop during pickup and drop-off times mm -hmm. specifically. And you can read Tali's full report on the story right now on the WBIL-TV app. Thank you for joining us for 11 News at 4, and good work. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks.